Shalom Aleichem and welcome to Online Smicha. We know the classical machlekes or the discussion about times that we use a becher, a kois, for Kiddush or Avdallah. Anytime we do a mitzvah with a kois, could we use a uh, plastic cup or, or something like you use a, one, a one-time usage type of cu- cup? Or should it be a more permanent thing, a more hush of a thing, like a becher, a, cu- a glass? Is, is there any reason why to be makbid, not to have a uh, plastic or styrofoam cup? This is a well-known machlekes between Moshe Feinstein and uh, Dying Dain, Dain Weiss, the Minchas Yitzchak, and it's brought in many, many places. Um, now, in generally, in general, when, it's t- when you're going to make Kiddush, just like any other mitzvah, we know that we try to do the mitzvah in the nicest way, Zekeli Vanveyu. It's definitely best that if you use a uh, nicer cup, just like any other mitzvah, the nicer you, pr- you perform the mitzvah with, the, the, more enhanced, the more enhanced the mitzvah looks. And that's what we're trying to do. The question is, is a, non, uh, a, a, is a non-glass, a non-silver cup, is that a problem enough that you should say it's, it's a puzzle, it's not allowed to be used for a Kiddush cup? So we know there are certain restrictions. There are certain halachas. The cup has to be whole. The cup, cap, 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 the cup can't be chipped. And there is uh, as many halachas. If you have a complete plastic cup, in today's days they make a lot of nice-looking things that are imitation, but it's used only once. So there is actually brought from Rabbi Shlem Zalman Erebach. He says that today... Where they make, and you see today, they make nice looking plastic bechers that it looks like it's silver plated. It looks like it's a, it looks like it's a nice, nice piece, but you're not going to keep on using and using it. It's not something you keep forever, but because it's made for this and it's a nice looking thing, Rabbi Shlem Zalman Erebach says you're allowed to. Um, this is in the general, this is the discussion in Hilchas Kiddush in general. It comes to the Pesach night and the Seder. There is another point that you you should you might want to consider, and that is that besides the issue whether or not this is a hush of a glass, this is considered a keli or not considered a keli, like all the lumbershed discussions that go in to whether or not you could use a plastic cup. On the night of Pesach, it says clearly in Shulchan Aruch that we act throughout the night of Pesach that a cheres and our way of freedom. We act like we're rich. We act like we're we're. we're everything is going well, and we know we have no issues, no problems, and therefore we do so many things, we lean, and that is a way of freedom. And the Shulchan Aruch clearly says, one of, the, one of the things that you do is you take out some of your nicest vessels, the silver, kalim, whatever you have, and put it on the table that it should look rich. So if it speaks about just general kalim to be on the table to make it look rich, don't you think that the keli that you're making the bracha on, the keli that you're using for Dalit Kaisis, at least that keli, if you have a choice, on top of the issues, if there are any issues, maybe it's not roi for the Kiddush, but there's another thing. You want that the night of Pesach should be in a way of cheros. So the nicer the becher is, the, the better you perform the mitzvah.